Hello, my name is Christian from Tradevola, Trading with Know-how and Transparency. Today we want to discuss a really important topic. I think I did it already a few times in the past, but as the interfaces of IV changing quite regularly, I want to show you again the three different ways to exchange currencies with the Trader Workstation, with your client portal, as well as with the mobile app. And uh, no matter if you have a cash or margin account, this video, by the way, you can also check here again. You normally need to use uh, currency exchange if you not only trade in your base currency or in the currency you transfer. It's normally always necessary to exchange some currencies. So if you like in the end the video, don't forget to put a comment or to a like. And uh, I would be also happy if you can follow to our account. Every support um, counts, but now we want to have a look here at the screen. And I will show you the three different ways how to exchange currencies with Interactive Broker. Yeah, we want to start here in the client portal to show you how to exchange currencies here or how to convert your currencies. It's pretty simple. You log into your account management and then you have here the section trade and under trade you will find convert currencies. That's exactly where I'm already located here. You can see First of all, you need to choose from which currency here. It shows me only Canadian dollar and British pound because this is the only positive cash balance I have at the moment in my account. Normally, let's say you only have Euro or US dollar, you will only see this as a selection here from two. Of course, then you can exchange to all the currencies which are available at the moment with Interactive Broker. I think the most common is if someone uh, in the Eurozone has Euro in his account and he wants to convert it to US dollar because he's trading in the USA or the other way around. You have some stocks which you want to trade in Euro, but your account balance is in US dollar. Then it also makes sense to exchange something in Euro or depends how they're interested at the moment. Maybe some people are also looking for a better interest rate what is uh, at the moment in the US dollar the case. So after you select the uh, currencies you want to exchange, you just put the uh, amount there. It will show you if it's available. Now, for example, in Canadian dollar, I can only type 19 Canadian dollar. As soon as I go to submit, it will place in market order. That means it exchanges the money immediately. You can't set a price. You just have to accept that it will be changed at the moment immediately. So that's the most important thing. You can always check here also a preview of your order where it shows you also the commission, what you will pay for, for this order. But that's everything what you need to know here for the client portal and how to exchange or how to convert currencies in your client portal. It's pretty easy and straightforward. So I think here it's not much explanation needed. Now we want to go here in the Trader Workstation because I said we have three different applications where we can place an order and the uh, Trader Workstation is the only application where you can set a limit order and set your own price where you want to exchange, for example, Euro to US dollar. Here it's always uh, good to have a look under account and account window because it also shows you the different cash balances. Here I'm already logged in with my paper trading account. So we can see, for example, here, I have a lot of US dollar in the paper trading account and I want to exchange something to Euro and uh, maybe we make another example also to uh, British pound or Swiss francs. It works the same way in the simulated trading or in the paper trading like in the live trading. So you can't make any different steps, uh, no matter if you're logged in live or um, in the paper trading account. First of all, we selected here for order entry Euro USD. Now we can choose which quantity. Let's say we want to change 20,000 euros or let's say an equal amount that we can get 20,000 euros out of it. So limit order, we can set up a limit price. I want to, of course, get it to a better price than what we see at the moment. Maybe here to what we have. And then the most important is here under advanced. Under advanced, this is the destination. And here, if you leave it like it is, it's ideal pro. It means you got to get a virtual forex position and not a forex conversion. So that's a big difference because you can also trade forex with the leverage, but we want to do a real forex conversion. 
And here it's important, maybe that's also good to, to do it first in the paper trading account to know what you need to do. So if you want to change US dollar to Euro, you need to buy the pair Euro US dollar. The other way around, if you want to exchange Euro to USD, you have to sell it. So that's what is important to know and what you can easily test here in the paper trading account. Because as soon as we go to submit, we will see here important forex conversion also our commission and then we will just go to transmit and as we have it here and under orders i can also change the duration to gtc so now i can even use it in my mobile at my client portal to change the price or the order just to see now what will happen in our account balances what i showed you earlier we will just change this to a market order and now we should have 20,000 euro more in the account. And that's exactly what we see here. 20,000 euros, that was the last trade. For example, we go to British pound US dollar. It's the same if you wanna exchange the second pair, you always have to buy it. And that's what we will do here in the same way. We'll make it a little bit better price because um, We want to get a better conversion and then it's the same. We have to check here Forex conversion, British pound, USD. You can see here the limit order. We can leave and wait. I can even change it here in the chart or oh, just to see how it works. I will change it to market and now also 20,000 uh, British pound in my account. So pretty simple. I selected the quantity. Select the price, important to have it longer in your portfolio, just choose GTC and then you can use this also from your mobile app or in your client portal. And that's the last thing what we want to talk about. It's the mobile app. You have here your portfolio and here it's uh, important you see the three dots here in the right corner. I think every app is a little bit different. You have to click on these three dots next to your bell symbol and then you will see the following menu and normally here in this menu will find convert currency and then it's um, exactly the same what we had here in a client portal you have to select from which currency to which currency you want to exchange you see your balance what is available and then it's the same as soon it's not written here but as soon as you slide to convert there will be also a market order type used so Client portal and mobile app is the same. You can only exchange it immediately. And if you want to do it um, with a better price in a limit order, use the Trader Workstation, set up your order, and you can easily exchange the order later also in your mobile app or on the client portal as well. Yeah, I hope um, this overview will help you to find for you the best way how to exchange um, currencies. As I said at the end, um, to really get a good price for the currency exchange, I would recommend the Trader Workstation as you can put here limit orders also with the duration GTC and it will stay um, as long as it will be executed. But if you want to have it fast and simple, client portal and the mobile app uh, will also do a quite easy currency exchange in all the available currencies. And uh, if you have anything um, what is missing or any question, we'll, please, feel, please feel free to leave a comment. And um, I would, and I hope to welcome you here the next time. Stay safe and see you, see you soon. Bye bye.